Hey guys, welcome to Path to Nowhere. So we're here with Zoya's build and what are your priorities? We'll start off with her skills. Don't be fooled about her because she she's sleek and slender, but again, she's a bruiser. So skill priorities, guys. Um, what to start off with first? Definitely going to be her ultimate, which is Legion's Arrival. Not only that, it gives a ton of damage. She's in the middle and ton of damage with a nine square, you know, area. And also she switches to a fighting strategy, increasing the number of hits and normal attack damage coefficient at the expense of some attack speed. Definitely increased damage on her end but again she trades off for attack speed so this is your first priority second i would say would be her basic basic attack um she's a bruiser she deals damage with with her ultimate then after her ultimate definitely it's going to be your basic attack or your normal attack so number two for her assault Next would be definitely uh, this one, Extreme Violence for number 3. Every third attack deals an extra 2% of the target's current HP through damage. The damage dealt will not exceed 34.3% of Zoya's attack. This is scaling up to 45%. So this will be your third priority. And the last one would definitely be Fiery Invasion, which gives Zoya... Um, a bump under attack speed. So it's a small bump. It's one point. It's an increment of 0.1. So from 1% to definitely 2%. But so that's a small bonus. So definitely this will be your last skill to be prioritizing. So again, that is her skill priority. First is Legion's Arrival. Next is Assault. Third is Extreme Violence. And Fourth is Fiery Invasion. Moving on to her crime brand. I decided to set her up with two sets, actually. So the first set would be uh, Fury 1 because this gives her additional HP because when she's in the front, definitely she's going to take hits and this will replace her HP. That is why I used it. And the other two are going to be Providence. So this is going to be your attack plus 6%. And also an additional crit rate of 6% as well. Your other option if you don't have these would be equipping this set. The Eastside Dream which is going to give her normal attack damage at 15%. This will make Zoya more of a on a more of attack oriented this one is more balanced because this will give her a chance to gain a hp especially if she is kind of you know having a lot of things to confront with especially with enemies so again either of the two sets or set sets is going to be good so either you're gonna go with a full dream uh Eastside dream um set or you're gonna go with a providence then you go with fury so a combination of both okay guys so for her deployment role zoya is i actually use her as type of a bomb sometimes what i do is i would take her out and if there are a bunch of enemies here put her in the middle then use her ultimate sometimes i do that sometimes i use her as a bottleneck in entry let's say for example here this is going to be the entry point so as you can see here so if there are multiple you know uh, multiple pathways merging in one entry point i usually put her there even though she cannot block multiple enemies she can definitely damage um what is coming her way and she can hold her own so again she is usually i usually use her beside nox to probably um take care of the biggest waves that i have in terms of enemies 
waves that Nox can also um, kill with the three rows. And Zoya will actually pick them off once they, for example, reach um, her, her, what they call this, her grid or her square. Once they reach her, then you use the ultimate, then she does a lot of damage. So again, she can be used um, for light enemies um, and also for heavy enemies as well. So again, she's your bruiser. Just keep her alive. Sometimes I would... Uh, use um this kill not this one this one so that um i could evenly distribute the damage to all sinners this is link so sometimes i use it with uh, with zoya sometimes i use it with nox um again she will be your main bruiser aside from nox nox is more of her burst damage um, um zoya's burst damage to nox is not as comparable but again zoya has her uses especially if you try to leap her across the field and do her, her ultimate she is going to deal a lot of damage there imagine that you deploy her in the middle and this nine square area will be full of damage so you can use her as an aoe bomber and that is her playstyle, guys Okay, so in terms of Zoya Shackle, I, I know it's unfair that I have her already at a 5. But it took me a while because I was summoning on her banner previously. And I went kind of all out on that. And the rest, I there, there was a free Zoya in the store as well. Not, not a free one, but one that we could purchase. So that was the one for the fifth one. But if you're trying to build Zoya right now... The best one is to go is number one because this extends Legion's arrival duration by 5%. This is kind of similar to Nox's um, increase in duration. Um, this is by 5%. The next uh, that you will try to bring her is at number four. Because again, any energy consumption reduction in your ultimate is very welcome because again uh, the cost is lower and you can spam it more quickly so definitely go with number one then inch your way up to number four number five is a damn you know it's additional damage it's an additional normal attack of uh, five percent so more or less one and four will be your targets for her shackle Okay, so let's go to her exclusive crime brand to determine whether she is going to be worth it for Phase 3. So for Phase 3, while Legion's Arrival is activated, Zoya gains 30% additional damage reduction and becomes immune to negative effects. Definitely, yes. She's going to take a lot of hits. Um, if she is your primary or secondary DPS or damage dealer or slasher in the front, definitely she's going to need this as for as her phase three. Okay, so definitely if you're going to have her as your main or uh, main or secondary front line, you know, a sinner, definitely you'll need this phase three skill. So she's going to be a must. I'm going to have her at phase three after nox so she's going to be more resilient at the front additional damage reduction and could probably so survive more hits so that is it guys for um for zoya definitely phase three um phase three must so thank you stay safe see you in the next one